Clark County Geographic Information Services, or GIS, is a department within the county that collects data and uses a variety of ways to make it useful to the public. Some of their online programs include the Property Information Center, Quick Maps, and Maps Online. We've got an interactive map uh, online called Maps Online. That's been a flagship program of ours for years. Uh, continues to expand with new data layers and information that people are after. Uh, we offer mobile applications for a variety of things. In fact, a lot of the new uh, open data type of based stuff we're doing is, is mobile friendly. A lot of the new web development we're doing is all mobile friendly. We have our property information center, another flagship program. It gives you really in-depth information about what we collect on properties for taxing and assessment purposes. Earlier this year, GIS debuted Open Data, an online hub for GIS data as well as other public records in digital formats. The data is free to use and download. So open data is an idea that's, that's really uh, the trend in government right now to proactively put this data out there so folks can self-serve for their data needs. We're getting an ever-increasing number of public records requests, and this is a, not only an idea to get more civic engagement, but it's really to help lessen the burden of those public records requests because we've got limited resources, shrinking budgets, and that, that type of idea. And by putting this out there, we're being proactive and we're also kind of helping our staff continue to do the work that they do without having to take so much time to, to needle through all these, these requests. The Clark County Open Data website provides easy access to authoritative, non-sensitive county data, as well as links to purposeful apps interactive web-based maps, and downloadable maps. It's incredibly helpful. In fact, one of the most popular items that's been getting downloaded is our property assessment treasurer database. That has been something that folks have requested constantly, almost daily, for years. And now we're able to route them directly to this portal and they can download it on their own. They can dig in and research whatever they want to find. It's really a, a tool that allows them to help themselves. Another useful tool is the help section. Step-by-step -step video tutorials can help guide residents through the process of different online components of the Open Data website. You know, this is really all about government transparency and, and being more proactive to get records out there to help the public engage with us better. Uh, really, we just we want the public to know that we're, we're working hard to make sure that information is available. And that's, that's really the gist of the whole thing. Included on the website is a feedback tab. Residents are encouraged to comment and offer suggestions to make improvements to the site. GIS relies on this feedback and research into what other government entities are doing with open data to continuously improve the county's open data website. We're constantly researching what other agencies are doing, especially in the Portland metro area. Everyone seems to kind of be along the same path when it comes to development, and, and government and how that's working together. So we, we, we definitely look a lot around us and, and up in King County and Pierce County to understand what some of the bigger entities are doing and comparable counties are doing. I think it's, it's always worth understanding what someone else is doing and seeing how you can leverage that for your purposes. For more information, check out the GIS website at gis.clark.wa.gov.